you need to look at protecting the best of what's left, but also of what's left, a lot of it's been impacted pretty severely. And so restoration of streams is a completely necessary area of work if we want to get back to healthy freshwater ecosystems. I think for the last 50 years, there's been a lot of confidence put on the idea that we can maintain and restore biodiversity on the back of public land. So uh, if you have an interest in freshwater restoration, you better have some relationship with landowners or it's just not going to happen. You need these working landscapes and these bigger areas, farmland and ranch land, to kind of go hand in hand with conservation and food production. You have to have both for us to have livings and to afford to do the right things. The restoration economy is real and we, we think it's important to put people to work restoring their watersheds. The logger, the truck driver, the excavator operator, the fence builder and the tree planter, they make the project happen. They do the actual work. Oregon has an amazing system of watershed councils, conservation districts, and other local entities that are doing this work, but uh, they still lack the capacity to do it at the scale that's needed. In some ways, any restoration project that happens and is successful is a, a bit of a miracle. Uh, you have to pull together funding and a willing landowner and permitting agencies and neighbors and contractors and then make it all happen seamlessly and smoothly. The redundancy in the paperwork and the steps you have to go through to do a project can be pretty frustrating for people. It takes away from our time that we could be spending out in the field or recruiting new landowners or developing new projects. If you're a restoration professional, um, right now you're, sp you're spending almost a third of your time chasing a grant, reporting on a grant, monitoring for a grant, uh, or filling out a permit application. There needs to be a recognition that the current system of doing restoration work, although it's getting work done, isn't ideally suited to the pressures that we face in restoring stream health. The question is what do we need to do to change course enough to change that trajectory? We have got to bring all of the resources that are currently available to us in the 21st century to bear on this problem. People might look at a piece of uh, web-based software like StreamBank and say, how is a computer going to help me do conservation? We ask the landowners or local coordinators a series of questions. They answer the questions. Everybody gets what they're after just in an automated way. Through a web-based tool like StreamBank, you can get projects done with speed without sacrificing quality. It's essentially taking the pieces that really none of us should be spending our time on uh, and taking those out of the equation so that we can focus our energies on the more important things. There was real enthusiasm where clearly uh, Stream Bank had hit the nail on the head in terms of addressing serious limiting factors. It's just a one-stop shop, you go in and enter the pre and post information and the budget is there and the invoices. and. The it's a miracle. <laughs> it just is. The Stream Bank program has been great. We started talking with them in the springtime about this project, and now it's the beginning of September and it's, it's on the ground. I think where Stream Bank helps us here on the ground most is combining uh, funding sources and process so that we're dealing with a single entity. Stream Bank is relatively young, but it's already earning the trust and confidence and respect of those of us who grow things for livings to say, we want to work with you and we want to make things better. We built it 
We've tested it, it works. Now we need to get this uh, worked into uh, the DNA of the broader conservation system. There are tens of thousands of stream miles in Oregon that, that need help, that can be improved. And uh, there's, a, there's a huge need on the landscape for thoughtful scientific restoration that, that uh, also meets the needs of landowners. If we could just take stream bank for that ride, we could get a whole lot more done in a shorter time frame.